Have you ever chased a rainbow in search of a pot of gold? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here and today we are continuing with our Lucky Us Pillow and today we get to actually make the rainbow and the pot of gold. So do you like rainbows? Do you like looking for a pot of gold? I have to tell you, I think I found a pot of gold with finding all of you guys in our Kristen Creates group. We have so much fun together in that group. I'm loving it. So let's go ahead and get started for today. So we have two blocks of the pot of gold, which or the rainbow and pot of gold, which is kind of funny because um, I actually looked in software at I thought it would be really easy to just merge the two and use a six by 10 hoop. That seemed really logical to me. And then I realized, oh, I can't do that because I already cut my fabric. <laughs> So if I hadn't already cut my fabric, it probably would have been really easy to just merge the two. So if you already have this striped fabric, you could definitely um, look into merging the two designs because it is two. So there's the rainbow and then the pot of gold. And Kimberbell, I'm sure, did that so that the people that have um, smaller hoops, like a five by seven hoop, it, this will work for everyone. But it seems obvious that you could also merge them and have them all together and then you don't have to line them up. So something to consider if you have a different background fabric or um, if you haven't already cut your fabric. So let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about the fabric. So it is the blue stripe fabric. I think this was from Boardwalk, if I recall. Um, so the blue stripe fabric, and we're gonna cut it to six and a half by six and a half. This is our main fabric for the background of our rainbow. So then we have all these little applique pieces for the rainbow. Now notice it doesn't have the purple. Don't grab your purple. That one goes with the pot of gold. So these are the ones that we need. So red, orange, yellow, green, teal, and blue. And these are all cut to two by three and a half, two by three and a half. And I did back each of these with fusible stabilizer, just like my main fabric. So this is for the rainbow. It's several little applique pieces, but it will go quick. And I like it because it's that piecing where we get to put it down, flip it. I really like those. I just think that they're fun and interesting and I enjoy them. So for this one, we are going to quilt it. As always, we've been quilting this entire pillow. So our um, final cut size for this is four and a half by four and a half. And so that means that we want a piece of batting that is five by five. So five by five on your batting and just those little applique pieces for the rainbow. So let's talk about the quilting. For the quilting, since we're supposed to do it in two different um, blocks, the block for the rainbow and then the block for the cauldron or pot of gold, um, since it's in two, that means you really want a quilting design that is not going to connect. So think about those orange designs. We've talked about this a lot. Those, so with the orange designs, they, you're going to want to line them up just right. You're going to want them to kind of connect. And so it's easier if you use a blue design. The blue designs, the way that I word them is that they are standalone designs. There's nothing that is going to connect. They're just kind of swirly and little designs within them. And they're its own standalone design. So that is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do these two blocks. So for the pot of gold and for the rainbow, if you did a blue design, one that is a standalone design. So I'm going to use the shamrock design that I've been using on some of my other blocks and it is by JL Designs, their Etsy shop. And there's a link under this video if you choose to get that same one. The official Kimberbell pillow is using St. Patrick's 4 and that it's similar. It's a shamrock design. I think it has some other um, cute uh, St. Patrick's Day items in it. So that one would work great too. It's a standalone design. Any of the blue designs, so if you have the clear blue tiles, the swirls, the loops, you know, any of those will work or any of the ones on the Kimberbell website that are in the blue category. Any of those would work really well for these blocks. All right, so that's it for our rainbow block and let's go ahead and get started. I should also mention that there are specific cut instructions on this one. 
but since we are quilting it, it's going to be super easy. And I'll go over that further as we get there. But basically we're cutting it to four and a half by four and a half. And we want to make sure that the rainbow is at the bottom and on the right hand side, but it's already going to be like that because of how we place our fabric and um, with the quilting. So it will work out just fine.
All right, once you have your rainbow block done, then it's time to do the pot of gold. So the pot of gold has lots of little pieces. We'll go over all of that. So for our main background, we have the blue stripes, um, same as the rainbow one. So whichever direction that you do yours, whether it's uh, vertical or horizontal, make sure that you're doing them both that same way. That's all that matters is that they match up the same. So whichever way you do it, do it the same. Back this with feasible stabilizer. You want this piece cut to six and a half by six and a half for your main fabric. And then we are going to use our little applique piece. This is that purple one that I told you. It's the bottom of the rainbow, so it goes with the pot of gold. And that we're gonna cut to two by three and a half. And I did back these with fusible stabilizer so that they look all crisp. And when we flip them over, they'll be nice and crisp looking. And then we have the black leather. So this is the black embroidery leather by Kimberbell and it is for the pot of gold. And for this one, we're gonna cut it to four and a half by five, four and a half by five for the black leather. Don't back this with anything. It's already got a nice soft little backing. Just leave that as is. And then we have our embroidery leather, gold embroidery leather. So there are three pieces. I have to tell you that I generally don't pre-cut these because it usually uses a lot less than what you really need and then you can save the rest, but I'm gonna give you the official instructions. So first off, you need one that is one and a half by one and a half. It is the gold embroidery leather. Don't back leather with fusible stabilizer. Just leave it as is. So one and a half by one and a half for the first coin piece, and then two pieces for the next coins, and these are cut to two and a half by three and a half, two and a half by three and a half for the next two pieces of gold leather. And then we have the gold applique vinyl. So, oh, I love this, it's so pretty. This, don't forget, you wanna take the topping off. Always take the sticky top off of using the vinyl. And the first one is, let's see, where are we? One and a half by one and a half for this little piece of gold applique uh, glitter vinyl. And then there's two more pieces of that same gold applique vinyl and you're going to take the topping off and these are both cut to two and a half by four, two and a half by four. And then that's it for the applique pieces. Those coins are gonna be so sparkly and pretty. That will be really fun. All right, so let's talk about our quilting. So whenever we quilt, we use batting. So for this block, we're gonna use a piece of batting that is five by five. And then for the quilting, same thing. You're gonna want, since they're going to, the blocks are gonna kind of connect, you're gonna want one that is a standalone design. You don't want anything running off into the next block that you did first. So, and you don't wanna to have to line it up just right. So I think it's easier if you use a blue design, do what works for you. Um, but I'm gonna use the Shamrock design from JL Designs, the Etsy shop, and there's a link under this video. You could use St. Patrick's Day 4, you could use Lucky Us, whatever you're gonna use, you want it to be matching the rainbow block because those two are basically together. So there's several cute ones on the Kimberbell website um, and like I said, any blue design would work really well. And then that's it. So we are going to get these two blocks sewn up and then um, after they are embroidered, we will sew them together. And gosh, we're getting really close to being done. And we'll go over it afterwards, but just so you know that there's also specific cut instructions on this one because we want that purple part of the rainbow to be right at the very top of the block um, after we get our seam allowance and all that. And we'll go over all of the specifics, but just know that there will be specific cut instructions for this one as well.
and today's shirt is merry and cold i call it i added the words i think it's with maya font i'm not sure i'll look and if i figure out which one it is i will add it under this video this is a snowman design but do you see it does not have the satin stitching this is called what do they call it like a triple bean stitch i think it's called this one is from applique and embroidery originals um, i have a bunch of their designs and i really like them but you have to know going in that it is very different than the satin stitching so if you can see after you wash it a whole bunch of times it gets like ravelly even with using the heat and bond light since there's nothing um, really holding in those side stitches it gets like ravelly and it gives it I think like a rustic look and it's just a very different look I really like this but I really like the satin stitch outlines ones as well and then I added a bunch of um hot fix rhinestones there's a link under the video for those as well i really like these i use them on a lot of things and like i said i added the wording so it's a fun shirt the shirt itself is from fred meyer and it's my absolute favorite shirt i wish that they had made these in a ton of different colors i love it it's got a tiny little pocket down at the bottom if you wanted to put your keys or something for going for a walk and it's got like this stretchy material. It's my favorite shirt. Unfortunately, I got it at a local store instead of Amazon because if they were on Amazon, I would buy a whole bunch of them. So anyway, fun shirt, um, applique and embroidery original design. Very fun. And on a personal note, my son is in the car today, nine hours driving to come see me. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm super excited. Hey everyone, so if there's time, I'm gonna try and do a third block today and um, there's a few things. <laughs> 